I'll tell you, these nasty ass Greek motherfuckers, man, gonna make me break somebody fucking face. Because it already pissed me off that the lady downstairs telling me that I had to pay $64 to stay here from Tuesday to Thursday. I had to pay $64 for two nights. My travel agent made a reservation for this hotel for me to be here from Thursday to Friday. But she said that she extended the stay from Tuesday to Friday because I had to come back to Athens earlier than Thursday. I had to come back Tuesday because the ferry ride to Santa Rainey was canceled. So I thought that she paid for the extended two days from Tuesday to Thursday, even though Thursday to Friday was already paid for. But this hotel, this tacky ass hotel is 32 a night. Look at the fucking bed. Y'all can't even see this. Who that bed is? I want to stay in this tacky ass hotel. And these Greek people got nasty attitudes. They think they could talk to you any old way and talk reckless. I'm not the fucking one. I'm like, if this hotel was 32 a night, how was the original reservation for one night, Thursday to Friday, 165? That 165 should have covered me being here from Tuesday to Friday. Because this tacky ass hotel only $32 a night. So something ain't adding up. She's talking about some, oh, it's different prices every night. So I'm like, give me my $64. She's like, oh, well, get your stuff and I'll give it to you. But the way she's talking to me is real disrespectful. So I'm like, the $165, I can't give you back because that you booked that with your travel agency. So you got to you gotta ask her to, to, to get the $165 back. Like, they don't know, man. I'm not the one. I am not the one. This this tacky bitch right here. You see her? That tacky bitch right there, her nasty-ass motherfucking attitude, and her nasty I mouth. I wish police. that my aunt come I here. I will get my aunt, and my aunt will beat her fucking ass. You see her? When you come back from America, whoop her ass. Because she disrespectful and she got a nasty ass mouth and she talking to the wrong one. Break her fucking face. What well, fuck about you? I want my 64 bag. And I want my 165. I made a reservation for 165. You talking about some, oh, you can't get that back. Your travel agent got to get that for you. How the fuck my travel agent got to get that for me when she still made a goddamn reservation for this fucking place? I will call the police, okay? I don't give a shit. I'm not scared of damn cops. What are you saying? I want my 165. What the hell do I pay? Got me messed up. Hurry up and tell him to come, and I'm gonna wait right the hell here. Telling me you're not giving me my money back, her nasty attitude. Know what the hell you think you're talking to? You ain't no damn professional, nasty bitch. You gonna watch your damn mouth. Lucky my aunt not here. Yo, I feel like my travel agent getting tacky and too comfortable with me. And she not on her P's and Q's. So I was supposed to come back to Athens anyway and stay at this tacky ghetto rundown hotel for a day from Thursday to when I leave on Friday. Because I had to come back to Athens earlier because the ferry to Santa Rainey was canceled. She claimed that she extended my stay at this hotel from Tuesday to when I leave on Friday. I showed the lady the reservation and it said 165. The, whole, the hotel is only 32 a night. So if I'm staying for what, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, three nights, how does 165 not cover that? 
she told me I had to pay $64. I get upstairs, man, the hotel, I mean, it look like hotels that you just, you go to when you just want to fucking smash somebody. These Greek people here have really funky, nasty attitudes. She get all nasty, all loud, blah, 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 blah. I don't see no reservation um, for Tuesday to Friday. I only see one from Thursday to Friday. And I'm like, what you said is 32 a night. So if it's 32 a night, how is the reservation for 165? That should cover like several days. She tells me, well, every night is different, which I understand. You know, maybe the weekends is higher. She get all nasty. I'm yelling at her. She yelling at me. We cursing, going back and forth. She told me, I'm going to call the cops. I'm going to call the cops. So she literally tried to like, once I finally left, I stood there for a while waiting for him. Like, bitch, call him. I'm waiting. But eventually I'm like, it ain't even worth it. You know, because they're going to take us out over my, not just that she a woman, but she's a, she's from here. So I get on this neighborhood. Look. This, this neighborhood don't even look. Have you seen like the graffiti on the walls? Look at this. Look at this. All this graffiti on the walls. I thought this was Wynwood Art District for a minute. Look at the graffiti on the walls. It's ghetto in this neighborhood. So anyway, I stood there. And then I slowly, I slowly walked away. Walked down one block. She kind of slowly walking behind me because she wanted the cops to find me. Then I cut a corner. She runs up that corner. But I think she lost because she was looking the other way. And she ain't see me, so I kept walking. I got the fuck out of Dodge, man. I travel wage, I better get my money back from them. That 165. That's all I know. This shit crazy, bro. Day six is crazy. I'm about to see if I go back to the, uh, I think it was called the Hera Hotel. Or some hotel. I'm going to find somewhere to stay because I ain't staying there. That joint trifling as fuck. That was the worst hotel I've ever seen in my life. So, anyway. This one, man. You can tell me in the hood. In the price of the hotel, you, you knew. Like, it was right around the corner from Athens Station where I had to meet the tour guide to go see the um, monasteries. The ghetto. So, I'm going to look for... Uh, I might just see how much Hera Hotel is. Might get him a call. But, um, yeah. It, this shit crazy, bro. This shit crazy. Almost got locked the fuck up. But I got out of Dodge. So now I'm about to look for another hotel somewhere. Hopefully I find one nice. Shit crazy. This is why I don't need to be on no damn trip for no fucking eight days. Usually I'm leaving today. This is day six. I'll hit y'all up. I think I'm near this train station where all the taxis at. But I just had to find... I really, um, I had to find a really, uh, busy area where all the taxis at, because that's where they be at, in the busy area, so. I hit y'all up, uh, when I get to a hotel, let y'all know how everything went. All right, this shit crazy, bro. I mean, Greece is going through bullshit. She lucky I ain't snapped, but Marcus ain't come the fuck out. So, guys, I found a hotel. I had to book it myself because my travel agent was taking too long to get back with me. Um, I know the hours are much different. There's a big difference in time, I mean. Um, and so it was probably like 8 o'clock over there, but this is where I'm at. Day 6 has been a day of trying to <clears throat> find new beginnings and get resettled. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's kind of chilly out here too because I got a t shirt on. But yeah, I'm just following this little uh, Google Maps to this hotel that I booked. I think it's in a pretty decent area. This is the area I wanted to be in. I ain't want to be in that ghetto area I came from. So yeah, once I find this hotel, I'm going to get something to eat. And chill. I ain't doing nothing today. I'm like so frustrated and just emotionally drained to do anything. So, all right.
We keep looking. It's a real busy street out here, as y'all can see. Let me keep looking. Um, get in this hotel, and I'll show y'all the room. Show y'all my new hotel room. And where I'm going to be for the next three nights. Definitely a nicer area, though. I can already see that. This is not far from the the last one I was at. Here at a hotel, but they said it was all booked, so it is what it is. All right, y'all. Guys, look at this hill I'm climbing up to get to my hotel. Ugh. My hotel up here, I think. Woo. Yeah, some crazy hills around here. Oh my God. You see that? It's a hill up there. And down here where I just walked from. That shit crazy. Whew. Let me keep walking. All right, guys, so here is my hotel. Hopefully, you let me get in here without a bunch of bullshit. Right in the corner. I'm gonna go in there and uh, get in this room. I'm packed. I'm gonna be here three days, three nights. I'm gonna just try to make the best <laughs> out of these last two days, man. So I'm stressed the fuck out. All right, let me get in here. Looks nice so far. Kind of quiet. I don't see nobody. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the hallway to the hotel. It's a really cool hotel. I might like this better than um Hera Hotel. This is my room. Look at that. Much better. Much better. Look at the lights. Uh, can you open this or is it broke? <laughs> I think you can. Just gotta figure out how to open this little patio door and uh, refrigerator mirror. Let's see the bathroom. Okay, nice little small bathroom. Nothing crazy. Just enough for me. All right. Let me get through these last uh, three days, y'all. I gotta lay down and just decompress. I'm stressed out. <laughs> I'm so stressed out. Um, but God is good. I'm so glad I was able to find this. Um, try to find something to eat and chill. Um, I may get back with y'all sometime later tonight. I don't know. Might be my last video for the day. Who knows? I'm a fool trying to cross the street. It is so congested out here. Like I said, it reminds me of Rome in Barcelona. It is so congested out here. And I'm trying to cheat my way across the street. <laughs> I 
All right, ain't no cars really coming. Let me try to get across down. Ooh, let me hurry up. Let me hurry up. Ain't no cars coming over there. Let me hurry up. Let me hurry up. Let me hurry up. Just made it. I literally just made it across without getting hit. All right, I think the rest of mine up here about this block here. Right. She said over here is a whole bunch of restaurants. I think it's this little section right here. Alright y'all. I think I'm here. I think I'm here. I think this place right here actually. Right there. So I'm gonna go in there and um see how the food is. Hopefully it's good. But yeah, it is. It's a lot of restaurants over here actually. One right there. And one right here. Alright, later y'all. I'm hungry as a motherfucker, so I gotta eat. Alright, this one man. Pretty okay set. Um I got two pork school skewers and two chicken skewers. Bring some lemon over it. Let me make the difference. This is spaghetti.